Hello, and a very good welcome to you. We've had a few questions over the last few days, and they're actually quite interesting questions. They're how to get rid of, basically, the old upgrade files, okay, um, from previous versions. Now, many people have tried doing it using our permissions techniques, going to safe boot, maybe using Ubuntu, etc., to delete that folder. It's all quite possible, okay? However, we're going to show you this, the simple method, okay? And this is actually going to be quite important over the next many years, because don't forget, Windows 10 is a continual update system, and you'll probably be wanting it to get rid of old files to clear up space, etc. Okay, it's very simple, actually. I'll just close these windows, because this is where we actually need to go. Um, you open up, shall we say, this PC, and then you click on your C drive, and you'll notice, whenever there's an upgrade, You'll have this windows.old folder, and you'll also get this dollar windows.squigglybt. Okay. Now, if you try deleting this a simple way, just selecting it and then either right clicking and then doing delete or pressing delete from the button over there, you will come up with errors saying either it's locked or permission errors, etc. Okay. Now, the simple thing to do to get rid of this, and this is the magic, okay? Go back to this PC and see where it says local disk C. Just tap on it, right click, click on properties, disk cleanup. That'll come up with the first window, okay? If you scroll down through the window, you won't see anything that is particularly relevant at this point. However, if you click on this, cleanup system files, we now have this window opening up and you'll see Windows upgrade log files, okay? previous Windows installations, okay, and also temporary Windows installation files. We'll take this one step at a time, okay, let's try and get rid of the windows.old first, okay, because that's the huge big chunk. Okay, we can unselect everything else, that's not a problem, okay, these are generally just disk cleanup things, if you delete the thumbnails, you just save a 3 meg from your hard drive, and whenever you kind of go to Explorer, it generates the thumbnails again. Okay, recycle bin, etc. You could have done, done that. We'll delete, we'll, un, we'll show you, say, untick all these things at this moment. Okay, and we'll just click on previous Windows installation and OK. Delete files. And you get an extra confirmation. Okay, because this is basically saying um, if you clean up the previous Windows installations, you will not be able to go back to your previous version. Okay, so now that's something you need to bear in mind as well. Okay, if you're happy with that, click yes, and it will start deleting that Windows.old folder. Okay, and after a few minutes, it basically just closed out that tiny little window, and we're back over here. I'll just show you, if you click on the C drive, We've now lost our windows.old, so that's great. No permission issues to delete it, nothing like that. Okay. Now, you might be wondering why these slightly grayed out kind of like, um, folders are appearing over here that you might not be seeing. It's basically because we clicked on view and show hidden items. Okay. Now, this also can be deleted. This is part of the old upgrade session as well. Okay. Again, same principle, disk cleanup, clean up system files. And for this one, we shall start with temporary Windows installation files. And if you want, you can also get rid of the Windows upgrade log files. Click on that. Delete files. As you can see, that's gone as well. So this method shows you how to get rid of these old upgrade files, the previous installation files. Um, if it's helped you, please click on the like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.